one stands watch at Otis Air Force Base on Cape Cod, overlooking the Atlantic Ocean. The other looks westward over the Pacific, from its site at Beale Air Force Base in California. Together, these two ground-based, high-power phased array radars provide America's early warning of attack from the sea. Warning of attack from submarine-launched ballistic missiles. The two radars, named Pave Pods, were designed and built by Raytheon Company under contract to the Electronic Systems Division of the Air Force Systems Command. The first facility, located at Otis Air Force Base in Massachusetts, was accepted by the Air Force in April of 1979, exactly on schedule. The second, at Beale Air Force Base in California, was accepted by the Air Force in November of 1979, five months ahead of schedule. The two facilities provide continuous surveillance over the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. Two additional sites in the southeast and southwest are being considered to increase the radar coverage. Operated by the Strategic Air Command, the primary mission of the PAVE pause system is to provide SAC, NORAD, and the National Military Command Authority with warning and attack characterization on all submarine-launched ballistic missiles that penetrate its coverage. The secondary mission is to track orbital vehicles in support of the Air Force's space track system. The PAVE pause radars are the first two-dimensional scan, high-power, solid-state phased array radars of such size to be put into service. Each facility is more than 100 feet high. The tilted walls serve as mounts for the more than 5,000 array elements that make up each of the radar's two antenna faces. To calibrate the arrays, a near-field element and its clutter fence have been installed. An auxiliary power plant provided to the Otis site by the Naval Facility Engineering Command and to the Beale site by the Army Corps of Engineers provides backup to the public utility. Inside the facility are several rooms of radar equipment, a data processor, a software library, an operations room, office space, and building services. Spare parts, test equipment, and test facilities are also provided to maintain the system. The radar's peak power is 600 kilowatts per face. Its average power is 216 kilowatts radiated into the coverage area. The radar energy is managed and the mission is directed by a Cyber 174 computer, which can process up to two and a half million instructions per second. System equipment is redundant, allowing offline maintenance through module replacement. Radar operations are automated, and overall design enables a system availability of 99%, thus reducing staffing requirements both in number and in skill level. The result, manpower costs for operation and maintenance are significantly reduced. In a phased array system like Pave Pause, the antenna does not move. Instead, its beam is electronically positioned in space. To form the beam, each active element in an array emits energy, forming a wave front as merging waves reinforce each other. If the energy from each element is emitted simultaneously, the resultant beam is perpendicular to the array face. If emission is sequentially delayed, the beam forms at an angle to the array face. Changing this delay, or phasing, changes the beam's direction. The direction of the return signal is also determined by its phasing as it crosses the array face. 
Paved Paws generates many such beams every second, scanning as far as 3,000 miles in a 240-degree azimuth at a minimum elevation angle of 3 degrees. The rapid scan forms a surveillance fence, providing continuous coverage. An SLBM, or any other object of a specified size that crosses the fence, is first detected and then verified. Thereafter, while maintaining the fence, the system periodically interjects tracking beams to update its data on the target. Track data is analyzed, and for Earth impacting trajectories, launch and impact points are calculated. At a range of 1,000 miles, a special search mode can be produced to detect and track multiple re-entry vehicles for MIRVs. The system also provides volumetric search and subsequent track of Earth orbiting satellites to a maximum elevation of 85 degrees. Pave Pause usually performs the space track mission and routinely tracks satellites and experimental missiles such as those launched into the Atlantic test range. However, in an attack, Pave Pause gives precedence to the early warning mission by reallocating resources as the tactical situation dictates. Even in a severe tactical situation, all of the radar modes, area surveillance, target detection and verification, track of new and previously detected targets, MIRV search and volumetric search can be carried out almost simultaneously with the computer-directed phased array radar. Pave Pause comprises three subsystems, the radar, the data processor, and the software. The software programs direct the mission, the processing resources, and several subsystem groups. In operation, a command from the tactical applications program causes the main computer to activate the radar controller. It in turn generates one command to the beam steering unit and another to the exciter. Signals to aim the beam go directly to the antenna elements via the phase shifters but the radar waveform is amplified by the array group driver for each face, divided and reamplified by 56 subarray drivers to feed approximately 1,800 transmit-receive or TR modules and their antenna elements. This sequence is performed in milliseconds and repeated for each beam formation. The steering signals aim the radiated energy to form a directed beam. An object in the beam's path reflects some of its energy. The echo, received by the array elements, is routed through the TR modules to the receive beam former and becomes one composite signal. It is sent to the receiver for digitizing, to the signal processor for target detection, and to the radar controller for formatting. Finally, it is sent to the main computer, which under control of the operational software analyzes reduces and displays this information and communicates it to the external users. In designing the system, uninterrupted reliable operation is basic. Therefore, all mission-related hardware is redundant. For instance, the data processing subsystem contains two main computer groups, several display groups, and two communications groups. One of each group is a spare performing maintenance and support tasks. But if an online computer group, for example, should fail, automatic switching shifts mission activities to the spare without interrupting system operation. Redundancy is also designed into the radar subsystem. The radar controller, the receiver exciter, the beam steering unit, and the frequency time standard are duplicated for complete redundancy. The signal processor comprises four identical electronic subassemblies, only three of which are required for system operation. Redundancy is also designed into the antenna array. Two array group drivers are provided for each face, only one of which is required. Beyond the array group driver, redundancy is achieved by providing more active elements than are needed in the basic design. For example, up to 132 elements can fail before the system performance is degraded below specifications. Each active element is directly connected to an individual solid-state transceiver. 
this direct connection avoids losses incurred in conventional high power corporate feed transmitters. Resultant prime power saving is up to 19,000 kilowatt hours a day. The transceiver or TR module used with each antenna element is an advance in the state of the art and its development is a contributing factor in making PAVE PAWS the world's largest solid state phased array radar. It embodies the first stage of a receiver with an input noise figure of two and a half dB, as well as the final stage of a transmitter with a peak output of 322 watts at duty cycles up to 25%. This TR module with a mean time between failure of 100,000 hours provides high system reliability. In addition, the failure of one or even 132 of the TR modules produces a graceful degradation, but does not disrupt system operation. Although PAVE pause is automated, its operation is monitored, evaluated, and controlled by SAC personnel in the tactical operations room. To assure specified system operation, a separate operator monitors tests, which are interleaved with system action. A technician is dispatched when maintenance action is required. The test that finds a failed TR module also pinpoints it at one of nearly 3,600 locations in the arrays. The module can be replaced while the radar is in operation. Replacement is easy and typically takes less than three minutes because there are no coaxial cables or microwave plumbing between the module and the element. Faulty modules are repaired on site in an automated service facility. Pre-programmed test sequences check circuits too small to examine unaided and too complex for standard service techniques. A second test set performs automated testing of defective circuit boards, while a third services the array power supplies. Pave pause is intended to detect an attack from the sea. Such an attack may never occur, but if it does, if from below the ocean's surface, a submarine of an unfriendly power were to launch an attack on the United States, PAVE pause would be ready. And within the tactical operations room, each missile and its flight trajectory would be noted. When it had accumulated sufficient track data, the system would calculate and display launch and impact points for each missile. The solid segment shows the distance traveled. The dashed segment indicates the distance to go. This information would be displayed and simultaneously transmitted to the concerned defense agencies. It would be periodically updated. Such information is part of a constant stream of automatic messages with manual override that would be sent to the North American Air Defense Command in Colorado and the Strategic Air Command in Nebraska, as well as the National Military Command Center and its alternate, both in Washington, D.C. Such information from PAVE PAWS would provide NORAD with early warning of attack. This is PAVE PAWS, a new sensor provided and operated by the U.S. Air Force for the detection and track of sea-launched ballistic missiles. It is ever ready, ever watching. The United States Air Force and the Raytheon team have reason to be proud of PAVE PAWS and the part they have played in adding a new dimension to the security of this nation. <laughs>